Right, do you think we can have some quiet, please? Are you coming on my knee as well? Come on then. Hello guys. Um said that I was gonna try my best to give you regular like updates as regular as possible. And I know it's been it's been a little bit hard. I think it's been about a month since I since I last did one of these. But um yeah, we're gearing up for our busiest sort of time of year. Um we obviously do the most markets and stuff over the summer. and um, we've got a load of exciting things coming up in June. We've got um a load of different young traders markets we're doing a father's day event at talking tides we're doing a couple of pop-ups i'm going to tell you all about all of those um as we're going through but yeah just a little hello again um nice to see you all we've gained quite a few subscribers over the last couple of weeks which is myth it's funny really because the reason that we've gained so many su subscribers is because i keep posting regular videos <laughs> of these two little shitheads um so you're going to have to forgive the noise and the snuffling and the ridiculousness during this because i'm currently sat in our spare room our tiny little spare room with both the dogs sat on my knee um and i've got my phone propped up on a pile of suitcases because we're about to go on holiday um next friday which is exciting these two are now going to start fighting i can tell so let me just reposition freddie so that that doesn't happen go on fat girl sit there sit there leave your sister for any of you that have started watching this content because of freddie and ziggy by the way this is Freddie <laughs> and this is Ziggy. Um, they're our two most valuable <laughs> employees at beer candles. Uh, they're not very good at making candles but they are quite good at drinking beer. They're nearly as good at drinking beer as I am. Um, so on the note of beer as well we've got a little beer on the go right now. Um, I don't know how many of you have had this before. Longboard, it's one of the corner brewing company's beers. Unreal if you're wanting just a little tasty lager nice i got these in m s and they were on offer they were like one pound something a can so happy days i went in to get a meal deal and i thought fuck it i'll have four of them four of them longboard beers to go with it so i'm just finishing the last one of them off now and um, so yeah a little longboard beer and um, but yeah like i said i've got a few things to update you on um for those of you that have started watching because of the pugs happy days it won't all just be pug content just as the cat stands up at the same time and starts shaking himself that's what the bell noise is um it won't all be pub content. We are beer candles. My name's Sophie and I have run this business since the back end of 2020, beginning of 2021, um, turning all beer cans, excuse me, all beer cans into candles. Um, we upcycle them, cut the top off here, fill it with wax, um, soy wax, a sustainably sourced soy wax. Burns really nice, burns for a long time. Variety of different scents. Yes, we do do one that's uh, beer scented. It's not my favorite. We do one that's also scented with um, tobacco. It's like tobacco and whiskey or something, I think. So we do we do, do a few alcohol um, type scents. We do a cherry amaretto one as well, which is, is unreal. It smells like uh, De Serrano. So that one's nice, it's always popular. But yeah. It won't all just be pug content. I like posting the pugs on there just because it's something a little bit different <laughs> every day. Um, but it is mainly beers and candles. Um, but yeah, please stick around because there will be more pug content coming as well. <laughs> it's mad what you have to do to get a bit of reach and a bit of exposure these days. Um, so yeah, let's get into the good stuff. Uh, I've even wrote myself a list, a proper list this time of things that I want to talk to you about so that I'm not just waffling on, which I already have been and we're four minutes in. So that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, as I say, May, June tends to be our the, the start of our busier times. Obviously, we've got a lot of food festivals, markets, that sort of thing set up, uh, ready to go to. So I'm going to just have a little bit of a, a talk through of what we're what we're going to um, what we're going to be doing. I was hoping to have a video up as well, um, a podcast video, like a longer form one, an interview with um, a guy that I've met through Instagram through doing beer candles. He has his own bar in his garden. It's a uh, some loads of people have lockdown bars, but his is pretty. His is pretty good. Um, he's called Dave Hardy from the Hardy Arms. Have a look on on his Instagram. Um, he's a great guy. Sent him a couple of candles last week as well. And I was supposed to be going down to Leicester to meet him, um, but it never happened. That's a bit of a story to tell. You couldn't make that up, could you? But yeah, that's a bit of a story to tell the, the debacle of why we didn't get to Leicester. I was supposed to be going to, if any of you know on YouTube, Auto Alex, he runs car shows. Um, I was supposed to be going to Shed Fest, drove all the way down to Leicester. Those of you that have known me for a long time know that I used to live in Leicester for about three years, uh, a, a while ago now. Right, we're not having this. We're not having this. 
be quiet. But yeah, those of you that know me know that I used to live in Leicester a while ago, so it was going back to familiar territory. I already had a bit of PTSD <laughs> from that. Um, got up nice and early last Saturday morning, drove down to Leicester to then sit in a queue for approximately two and a half hours for my little stupid convertible, which was the whole reason that I was going, to start overheating and I, I ended up turning around and driving all the way back home again. But it did have a silver lining. I'm not sitting in a queue for two and a half hours. I mean, I've been to Disneyland and that's that takes the piss. I'm not, there's not many things that I would queue for two and a half hours for in the baking sunshine in a car that's overheating. So I, I was back up on the M1 as fast as you can, <laughs> as fast as you can imagine. Um, but it did have a, it did have a bit of a, a, a benefit because I found myself in Darlington on Saturday afternoon with a bit of time to kill. My missus wanted me out of the house because she was doing work for her um, masters that she's doing at the moment. So I was like, I'll take myself for a pint. So I ended up in Crafty Merlins. Those of you that are from Darlington know Crafty Merlins is the place to go. If you like craft beer, if you like a, a nice chat with some nice people, it's definitely the place to go. Chris and Merlin who, who run Crafty Merlins are spot on people. They know loads about beer, loads about Darlow. Everything that they get on there is either cask, hand pull, um, they've got loads of local beers as well, they get loads of IPAs in, loads of um, New England IPAs, they get everything, loads of local breweries um, and it's all it's all, all good stuff. Uh, there'll always be somebody in there with a story to tell as well, you get talking to some cool people when you're in there. So, I, Dallow folks, get yourself down for a sour a nice stout, a nice IPA, and maybe a little bit of scintillating conversation. They also have a pug, so for any of you that love pugs and are here for that content, and fancy a trip to Darlow, big up big Ronnie, who's their pug. Um, he's had a bit of a he's had a bit of difficulty with his teeth and stuff over the last couple of years, so I was talking to Merlin about that. He's a rescue pug, not like these two little buggers who are pampered princesses and haven't known a, <laughs> a hard day in their life. Um, but yeah, so it was nice to do that. Nice to have a few pints in Crafty Merlin's at the weekend. I had a couple of pints in Tapas Bar as well last weekend. Again, Darlow folks, if you know, you know, it is the place to go for a pint. Um, a bit of Spanish food in the sunshine, you can sit outside. They do um, they do all sorts of tapas and they do uh, sangria. That's what it's called, isn't it? That stuff that's in a jug, yeah. A bit of sangria. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's nice as well if you want to sit in the sunshine and have a nice couple of pints and some lovely food. Get yourself down there. Um, to move on to the events that we are going to be doing. So, uh, for those of you that have been following us for a little while, you might remember that we have participated a few times in the pop-ups with the guys from Keep It Local. So, Keep It Local um, started a few years ago, about the same time as Beer Candles started, I believe, down in the like Stoke, Staffordshire area. I'm terrible with the geography down there, guys, so I do really apologise if I've got that wrong, but it is. It's like Stoke, Staffordshire... Um, the other Newcastle, not the Newcastle up here near us, Newcastle under Lyme. Um, some would say the second Newcastle. They would probably say the first Newcastle. <laughs> um, but I, the, they run pop-ups. They're really passionate about local businesses. I met Laura from Keep It Local at a Young Traders event down in... Where was it? Um, that shakespeare place. My, the name's completely slipped, slipped my mind. Also begins with an S, I think. Um, but yeah... A few years ago, when we got through to the finals of the Young Traders Markets, um, Laura was was out wandering around talking to local businesses and trying to get them involved. I really loved how passionate Laura was about supporting businesses from the local area. I was living down in Manchester at the time, well, between Manchester and Warrington. So it wasn't super local to me, but only sort of an hour away from me at that point, if that, 45 minutes. So I did quite a few pop-ups with them um, kind of 18 months ago, a year ago. With everything that was going on with me moving, um, some of the other Christmas stuff that we had going on, it just wasn't feasible for me to do any events at the back end of last year with them. But they run they run pop ups in uh, like local um, like department stores, local um, like shopping centres, that sort of thing. So they're doing one all throughout the summer, which is fantastic. It's twelve weeks starting from next Sunday, which is pretty exciting. I've got a load of stock made up ready. Um, to bring down to you guys the prices all stay the same we sell them like out of their shop they do a fantastic job of selling them for us but it's the perfect opportunity to go and grab 
other local produce from from that area obviously with it being stock and stock and staffs so there's quite a lot of uh, pottery that's big down there but there's there's all sorts of stuff there's other people doing cool candles as well not as cool as beer candles obviously <laughs> um, and a lot of other cool stuff i've been in before when they do the pop-ups and there is there's some fantastic things like i say the big champions of everything from from around that area sort of the the midlands um that middle that middle bit of the country which is fucking miles away from us up here but it's nice to expose other parts of the uk to to beer candles and not just stick to stick to what we know these dogs are making so much noise i'm so sorry if you think that any of this snuffling is me it isn't freddie's just sat here like chomping her head off what's the matter girl uh, so yes yeah, so that's starting on the 19th of may for 12 weeks which is using my terrible maths is three months <laughs> um it's happening in the in newcastle under lime town center part of the lancaster buildings i believe it is so it's in the yeah so it's in the lancaster buildings in newcastle under lime i can't wait to see the setup they always do a really really great job of promoting their events and um you know selling the idea of buying stuff from local and small businesses to the rest of the general public it's it's a fantastic thing to be a part of and i'm chuffed that you guys want me to be involved again i am uh i am buzzing any excuse to have a trip on the road and come and find somewhere else to have a pint maybe the titanic brewery i think i might be coming for you <laughs> um so yeah so that's the first thing that we've got going on we have then also got on the 25th of may is the first heat of the newcastle young traders um so a few times it's been held in Darlington. We've done the Darlow one, we've done the Durham one, we've done the Newcastle one before as well. It just depends where there's availability and where they're actually hosting it for those years. So this year we're going to be participating in the Newcastle Young Traders, which is the Saturday, the 25th of May. It'll be where it always is, uh, just under Gray's Monument um, on Granger Street in Newcastle. Couldn't really be in a better location. We always have a fantastic day. It is definitely, definitely our last year of being able to enter because I'll be too old next year. Um, we've been dining out on being under 30 for <laughs> for ages. I am still 30 at this moment in time, which I think is why I'm allowed to participate in the event. But yeah, can't wait for that. We're also going to do the whole one, I think, as well. A little bit of a trek for us, but it's nice to go and expand and do some of them in different locations. We have in the past done Bolton and I think I've done Crewe before as well. Um, so doing Hull will be nice, doing something over on the East Coast. Um, might get a trip to the seaside afterwards as well so yeah Hull we're coming for you 1st of June and then something that we're super excited for is the market that we're doing at Talking Tides so Talking Tides for those of you that don't know is a brewery out at Mask um, out in the seaside between Redcar and Saltburn uh, if you're in the northeast you'll know where it is it's just off the off like where the train line is and um, it's not far at all it's really easy to find it's a lovely brewery they do some amazing beer everyone in there is a proper sound <laughs> sound person um they also do pizzas a lot of the time they do a lot of events a lot of music um it's definitely worth a visit if you like a beer and you like a good time get yourself down to talking tides we're doing a market there for their father's day extravaganza or something they're marketing it as so everything's going to be like cool gifts for your dad for father's day i think there's someone there selling hot sauces and um, vintage football shirts it sounds absolutely epic we've done pretty much every market that talking tides have been having well we've done every single one that they've invited us to and i'm always pestering kelly to go to more of them because we always do really well um we get to talk to some lovely people as well. We get orders off the back of it. So that's another place to come and find us if you are interested. So that is the 16th of June, Sunday, the 16th of June. So it's the week before Father's Day. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The other thing that we have been invited to do is to do a pop up in the Metro Centre. Um, I wanted to put this out there because I don't know. I can't decide yet whether to do it. It's very expensive for us to go and do it. Um, it's probably fairly priced, but I mean, we're selling candles for a ten or a pop you have to sell a, a lot of them to make back your your fee for for doing a pop-up in there um but it is a bit of a prestigious thing being invited to go and do it so toying with the idea of that and then toying with the idea of what we can to do it on um so what do you guys think do you think a pop-up in the metro center would be a good idea let me know <laughs> um, i think we have got m maybe enough reach up here that we, we would have a few people come from the sort of Newcastle area to do that. I was thinking about maybe making a big deal out of it when we do the Young Traders Market in Newcastle on the 25th, just to see how just to see how that goes down. Um, in sort of actually like invite people to come along to it at the Metro Centre. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how this next couple of weeks goes and these first few markets, but it could be a good idea, eh? Um, 
the last sort of last thing for me to say really is um on the note of like pop-ups and um doing markets and that sort of thing if you have your own brewery your own bar um etc and you'd like us to come and do a pop-up let us know if you'd like some stock for just to see how you'd get on with it let us know as well we can give you as few as sort of 10 candles 10 candles at our trade price It'd be about 70 quid we could give you the 10 candles you could sell them for for 10 to 12 pound a pop make your money back on them and we'll just see how we go obviously the bigger quantity of candles you order um the more <laughs> the more profit you're going to make out of it and the cheaper the cheaper it'll be for you to buy them from us but if you're just wanting some as a, as a little tester let us know um other darling businesses that might want some candles in there let us know if you're wanting them for your tables if you're wanting them as decorations we can offer candles as, as like a refill service as well so buy the candles from us burn them till they burn out which they obviously will in probably a couple of weeks in your bar or your restaurant and we'll top them up for cheaper than it would be to to rebuy them and um, these two are now fighting just so you know what the noise is i'll show you wait there what are you doing They are both girls, but they live in a house of lesbians, so I think that's why they try and hump each other all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you wanted us appearing in your shop, bar, restaurant, whatever, we're more than happy to consider any options with regards to that. I am also still looking for guests to come on the podcast. I have got a couple of exciting people lined up. want to do the whole, like, tell me about the best beers in your life um, and do a little bit of supporting other small businesses as well. So I have had a few chats with a couple of people with regards to that. So keep keep your eyes I was going to say keep your eyes posted and um, keep your eyes peeled and there'll be some cool content with some other um, cool local business owners coming up real soon. Some local business owners, some local piss heads, some random people I meet in the pub probably um, and just anyone that fancies having a chat with me with regards to what beer means in your life. Um, it doesn't have to be positive either. It can be negatives. We can have a talk about alcohol from the point of view of, you know, people that are trying to go sober, people that have gone sober. That is something that I have I did for seven months of last year um, and it was really beneficial to me. It kind of reframed and changed my entire attitude about alcohol, but also my ideas about plenty of things in life. Um, hashtag balance and all that. So yeah, if you want us on the podcast, if you want to come on the podcast, sorry, let me know. If you want us in your shop, let me know. We're happy to do whatever. We're dead accommodating like that. Um, come and make a candle with me, anything that you like. We are starting to offer our workshops again as well. Um, we've tried to do this in the past and it kind of fell a little bit by the wayside. It was a bit too difficult to promote, but I have got some talks in the pipeline with doing some stuff for Pride Month over at Amazon. Um, we've done a few markets at Amazon as well. So that, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to show you is, so me and Daryl moved up here um, in February time. We're potentially going to have to leave the house that we're staying in, which is really fucking annoying because um, our landlady's decided to sell, which is an absolute ball ache. Um, but we live in a little village on the outskirts of Darlow um, in County Durham. And right now, guess how far away from the pub I live? I'm going to show you out the window. Are you ready for this? So... Come with me, move the suitcases. So, excuse the building work, that's part of why she's selling the house. So this is our bedroom. I'm not gonna show you the bedroom, but look at this, are you ready? So just to give you a little bit of an idea, I mean, I'm basically giving away my entire, entire location here and where I live. That's my little shit car there. That building there, that stone building, that one, that's the pub. And from our front door, which is obviously just down there, <laughs> to being stood at the bar in the pub is, guess how many steps? It's 42 steps to walk from, <laughs> from our living room to being stood at the bar in the pub, which is pretty cool. We were in there the other night um, with my brother having a few pints. <laughs> um, it's even closer to walk to the beer garden because you can go out of our, out of our back garden straight into the beer garden. I don't know whether this is a good thing, <laughs> but it's a thing. So if anyone fancies a pint at any point, drop us a message because I basically now live in the pub. Um, but yeah, that's everything from me, guys. Thank you for bearing with us again. Thank you for all of the new subscribers. Even if you are subscribing for dog content, that's absolutely fine. There will be more dog con content in the shorts. For those of you that don't like dogs, I mean, 
who doesn't like dogs? It's ridiculous. You might as well unfollow us now. It's nearly as mad as not liking beer. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I say, if you want to come on the pod, let me know. Drop me a message. If you would like us to come to your business and do a pop-up run a market, um, let me know about that as well. And I'm going to just put a little a little like slide at the end of this video of the different market dates that we've got and what we're going to, what we will be at, that kind of thing. Um, dates for your diaries. So we are popping up in plenty of places. If there is anything else at all, this is what we have to deal with. But aye, that's that for now, guys. Thank you very much. Like I say, anything at all, drop us a message. We are more than... <coughs> Fucking hell, I can't end this podcast. I've either got these two little ball bags barking or I, me coughing my guts up. But yeah, if you want um, candles, you know what to do. If you want a chat, you know what to do. If you want a beer, you know what to do. And I go and support your local businesses if you can. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Give us a share. All that jazz. Peace.